Welcome to my channel, All in One A1, a defense update of the day. Raytheon completes first lower tier air and missile hypersonic defense radar. Raytheon finished building the first radar antenna array for the U.S. Army's lower tier air and missile defense sensor. It completed the work less than 120 days after the U.S. Army selected the company to build a next-generation radar that will defeat advanced threats like hypersonic weapons. A full-scale model of Raytheon's lower tier air and missile hypersonic defense sensor, a next-generation radar that will defeat advanced threats like hypersonic weapons. Built for the U.S. Army. Next generation radar is a simultaneous 360 degrees, active electronically scanned array radar powered by the company's gallium nitride circuits. Raytheon completed building the first next generation radar antenna array less than 120 days after the U.S. Army selected Raytheon to build lower tier air and missile hypersonic defense radar. Raytheon's employees and partners are focused on delivering the first lower tier air and missile hypersonic defense radar by the Army's urgent material release date because we know how important expanded battle space coverage and other capabilities are to the men and women in uniform, said Tom Laliberty, Vice President of Integrated Air and Missile Hypersonic Defense at Raytheon's Integrated Defense Systems business because we invested in cutting-edge radar technology and advanced manufacturing capability, we will meet the customer's critical milestones and get next-generation radar lower tier air and missile hypersonic defense radar in the field rapidly. The newly built primary array, similar in size to the Patriot radar array, will provide more than twice its performance. Following extensive testing, the radar array will be mounted on a precision machined enclosure for integration and further evaluation. The enclosure utilizes advanced design and manufacturing techniques for accelerated manufacture to support the U.S. Army's urgent material release program. Hypersonic missile designed for Su-57 fighter jet ready for testing. Late last year, Russian aerospace and defense giant United Aircraft Corporation confirmed that new weapons systems designed especially for the Su-57 had been developed or were in active development, without elaborating. A prototype hypersonic missile designed for use aboard Russia's new Su-57 fifth generation stealth fighter has been created, a defense sector source had told Russian media. The source described the missile as a small, air-to-surface weapon designed to be carried inside the plane's fuselage, and said it has yet to be tested aboard the plane. No other details about the weapon's characteristics or who developed it were made available, and the reports have yet to be commented on by anyone at United Aircraft Corporation, Sukhoi or the military. The defense sector first teased the possibility of deploying hypersonic missiles similar to the Kinzhal hypersonic, nuclear-capable missile in 2018. Kinzhal was deployed into service aboard the MiG-31K in December 2017, and a version of the missile for the Tu-160 White Swan strategic bombers is also being developed. The weapon is believed to have an operational range of up to 3,000 kilometers, and a flight speed of Mach 10 Mach 12, 12,250 to 14,700 kilometers per hour. Large-scale deliveries of the Su-57 into Russia's aerospace forces are expected to begin later this year. The aircraft is a fifth-generation stealth superiority fighter created by the JSC Sukhoi Company. The planes are intended to eventually replace the MiG-29 and Su-27 in Russia's aerospace force and navy, and are equipped with advanced avionics, airborne active phased radar, ELINT and a variety of high-precision weaponry. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe.